Now, let's move on to see how the CPU, or in association with memory, operates and executes a computer program. We will be looking at how just one instruction in the program is executed. First, the necessary data and instruction should be installed in the memory. Once the necessary data and instruction are in memory, the central processing unit performs the following four steps for each instruction. Click on each step to know more of its operations. In this topic, we have looked at the components of the CPU. The major components of the CPU are the arithmetic logic unit and the control unit. Other components such as the registers, internal clock, memory and storage also play an important role in the operations of the CPU. The main function of the CPU is to read the data keyed in manipulate it according to the instructions given and write it in the memory of the computer. Mainly, CPU processes the data keyed in and produces the output required by the user as per the instructions given. Input devices allow us to put information into a computer. The computer processes the information and then produces outputs that we can understand using an output device. Input or output devices allow us to communicate with the computer. All of the input or output devices that your computer uses plug into ports at the back of the computer system unit. When you need to add a port to your computer, you will need to add an expansion card. Let's first learn about input devices. An input device is a hardware unit which sends data or instructions into the memory of the computer for processing. There are several ways to get new information or input into a computer. The most common ways are keyboards, pointing devices and voice input systems. Click on each input device for detailed explanation on its functions. The most common input device is the keyboards. The keyboard is a device that is designed like a typewriter. It has keys for characters, which are letters, numbers and punctuation marks, and special commands. When you press the keys, you are actually telling the computer what to do or what to write. Pointing devices allow us to put information into a computer. Let's look at a few examples of these devices. Mouse, light pen, joystick, touch screen, tablet, stylus, trackball, touch pad. Click on each device for detailed explanation on its functions.
Next, let's look at another example of an input device that is voice input system. It is a system that enables a computer to recognize the human voice. How is this possible? Well, this is possible due to the usage of two technologies in this system. The systems used are speech recognition technology and speech synthesis technology. Speech input to data retrieval systems is handled by automatic speech recognition technology. Speech output, on the other hand, is handled by speech synthesis technology. A microphone is used with a speech recognition system. This can be used with a word processing program to enter text. It can also be used as part of security systems. This means that only certain digitally stored voices have access. Now, let's look at other types of input devices that allow you to put images into the computer. Examples of other input devices are scanner, digital still camera, graphics tablet, and digital video camera. Click on each device for detailed explanation. Now, we move on to learn about output devices. An output device is equipment that accepts data and programs from the computer. It allows us to get information from the computer. It also displays and produces process information in a way that you can understand. Let's look at the first component of output device that is a monitor. A monitor allows you to see what you and the computer are doing together. A typical display system includes a monitor and a graphics card or video card. There are two types of monitors, CRT and LCD. Click on each type of monitor to know more. We assume that all monitors are the same. Well, they are not. There are four basic qualities associated with monitors, which differentiate the types of monitors available. The qualities are screen size, dot pitch, resolution, and color depth. Click on each quality for further details. This is another output device that allows you to hear sounds from your computer. Computer speakers are just like stereo speakers. There are usually two of them and they come in various sizes. Speakers provide audio output from the computer. A printer is another common part of a computer system. It is a device which provides computer output on paper. It takes what you see on the computer screens and prints it on paper or hard copy. There are two basic qualities associated to printers, resolution and print speed. Print resolution is measured in the number of dots per inch or DPI. Print speed is typically measured in pages per minute or PPM.
There are four types of printers that are popularly used. They are inkjet printer, laser printer, solid ink printer, and thermal transfer printer. Click on each type of printer for detailed explanation. In printing, there are two types of printing done. They are impact printing and non-impact printing. Click on each type of printing for detailed explanation. Impact printing is a technology that forms characters by striking a pin or hammer against an ink ribbon which presses the desired shape onto paper. Impact printers are considerably noisier than non-impact printers. However, they are useful for multi-part forms such as invoices. Examples of impact printers are dot matrix printer and line printers. Non-impact printing is a technology that forms characters and other images on a surface by means of heat, lasers, photography or ink jets. Examples of non-impact printers are inkjet printers and laser printers. The term non-impact is important primarily in that it distinguishes quiet printers from noisy or impact printers. Plotter is another type of output device which is not popularly used. It is a device that draws pictures on paper based on commands from a computer. Plotters differ from printers in that they draw lines using a pen. As a result, they can produce continuous lines whereas printers can only simulate lines by printing a closely spaced series of dots. Multicolor plotters use different colored pens to draw different colors. In general, plotters are considerably more expensive than printers. They are used in engineering applications where precision is mandatory.